symmetric compound bar pendulum. In this experiment, we are going to determine the acceleration due to gravity at a place, the radius of gyration of the bar pendulum about its center of gravity, and we will also calculate the moment of inertia of the pendulum about an axis passing through its center of gravity perpendicular to its length. In this experiment, we need a compound bar pendulum and there is a knife edge and we are using a meter scale to measure the distance, a knife edge here, then a timer and a 500 gram mass and the compound bar pendulum is suspended in this holder. In the holder, uh, there are two glass plates. We will be balancing the pendulum in the glass plate. Okay, so this is the compound bar pendulum. Here you can see there is a knife edge. Now the knife edge is kept at the first hole the, uh, from the reference end. Here you can see a reference end. So from the reference end, we have kept the knife edge in the first hole. Here in the compound bar pendulum, you can see there are 19 holes. Each holes are at equal distances. Now I am going to suspend the pendulum in the holder like this. V uh, shaped portion should be facing downwards like this. Now the pendulum is suspended in the first hole. Our aim is to find the period of oscillation of the bar pendulum. So for that I am going to oscillate the pendulum. So like this give a small oscillation okay now after two or three oscillations you can start the stopwatch and measure the time for 20 oscillations here one oscillation means the pendulum starts from one point on any side then it goes to the other side again comes back to its original position that is one oscillation like this take the time for 20 oscillation and you can find out the period uh, capital T that is time for 20 oscillation divided by 20. So you can uh, take two trials for the same hole that is first hole. Now we are going to repeat the experiment by keeping the knife edge in each of the holes. So there are total 19 holes. We are assuming the center of gravity to be at the, at the tenth hole. So we will be putting the knife edge uh, in each hole uh, above the center of gravity and below the center of gravity. So to uh, measure the time, uh, time for 20 oscillation below the center of gravity holes, we need to invert the pendulum. So take the pendulum out. Then uh, take out the screw. Okay, and now uh, we have measured the time for 20 oscillation in each of the hole above the center of gravity, that is above the 10th hole. Now I have inverted the pendulum and put the knife edge in the uh, last hole of the pendulum like this. So now we are going to measure the time for 20 oscillation below the, uh, uh, in each of the hole below the 10th hole. So put the pendulum like this and again measure the time for 20 oscillation. In each of the hole uh, make sure that you are taking two trials and take the mean. In 10th hole what happens uh, when we suspend the pendulum in the 10th hole the pendulum won't oscillate, oscillate because that is the center of gravity hole. And this is the observation table to determine the period of oscillation. So here a number of holes from A. A means the reference end. So it is marked as 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. And the distance of knife edge from A. Then time for 20 oscillation. We have taken two trials. Then take the mean. Then time period, uh, time period for one oscillation that is T is equal to Time for 20 oscillation divided by 20. Next we are going to find the mass of the compound bar pendulum using the principle of moments. So by the principle of moments 
m1 into d1 is equal to m2 into d2. So first of all, I am going to balance the compound bar pendulum on a knife edge. To find the mass of the compound bar pendulum, first of all, balance the pendulum on a knife edge. So I have kept the uh, tenth hole on the knife edge. So you can see the uh, pendulum is balanced now. So this tenth hole is the center of gravity. Now I am marking a position 10 cm from the center of gravity. So here measure 10 cm distance. Okay. So I have marked a distance of 10 cm here. Now move the bar to this uh, 10 cm distance and keep the 10 cm distance on the knife edge. Now I am going to hang a 500 mask on this side. So uh, a 500 mask is kept at a particular distance from this 10 cm. So and balance this bar like this. You can move the position of the 500 gram mask and check whether it is balanced or not. Now it is almost balanced. So you can see this is the balancing position. And mark this point like this. Now we need to measure the distance. So in the observation you can write M1 mass of the hanger that is 500 gram. Then D2 is the distance of the knife edge from the center of gravity. So first we have marked a 10 cm distance. So uh, this uh, distance D2 is 10 cm. Then D1. D1 is the balancing length. That we have to measure using a scale. So uh, this distance we have already marked. That is D2 10 cm. And this distance is D1. So this distance comes around 29 centimeter okay d1 is 29 centimeter so you can write down here uh, d2 is 10 centimeter and d1 is 29 centimeter okay from that you can find out the mass of the d1 bar m2 is equal to m1 d1 divided by d2 so we have got the mass of the compound bar pendulum So in the second part, we need to find the uh, G value. Okay, so this is the tabular column. So period from the graph. Here we have to draw a graph between the distance and the time period. Okay, so the graph will be like this. So G is the center of gravity position. And here on both sides of the center of gravity, you can see symmetric curves like this. So this is the graph we are getting. This is graph hmm, T versus distance. Okay. So period from the graph T. Uh, here you can draw lines parallel to the x axis uh, on this curve. So here the lines meet at A, B, C and D. So uh, you can take one line and the corresponding period you have to write in the tabular column. So period from the graph you have to note down for one um, line. Then length of the equivalent pendulum means you have to find the distance AC and BD. Okay. From the graph. So write down AC and BD. From that you can find out the equivalent length L is equal to AC plus BD divided by 2. So we have got L and T from that you can find out L by T square. Our equation is G is equal to 4 pi square L by T square. So uh, take 3 trials from that find out mean of L by T square and calculate G value. Now from the graph minimum time period T we, we can find out. So minimum uh, time period means the lowest uh, portion of the curve. So this corresponds to this line corresponds to which period that is the 
minimum time period that also you have to note down then 2k 2k is ef so ef is the line joining the lowest portion of the curves that is ef so we got 2k also from that we can find out g g is equal to 4 pi square 2k by t square and find out mean g g from 4 pi square l by t square equation and also from uh, 4 pi square 2k by t square equation take the mean of both In the next uh, tabular column, we are going to find out uh, the radius of gyration k and the moment of inertia of the bar pendulum. So, here uh, we have to find out h1 and h2. We have already drawn the graph in that h1 is ad divided by 2. So, we have drawn the parallel lines, uh, lines parallel to x axis. So, from that find out ad value divided by 2 that is h1 and h2 is bc by 2 so here this is bc bc by 2 is h2 so from that you can find out radius of gyration k is equal to root of h1 h2 like this you can take three trials and find out the mean k value and from the graph also we can find out uh, k 2k is equal to EF that is the line joining the lowest portion of the two curves that is EF. So from that also you can find out K value and find out the mean K. And, and uh, we can find out the moment of inertia also I is equal to M K square. M is the mass of the compound power pendulum that we have already found out. K also radius of gyration that also we have found out. So, substitute the values and find out the moment of inertia. And now, uh, the result part is acceleration due to gravity at the place. Then, radius of gyration of the bar about the axis passing through the center of gravity. That is K. And moment of inertia of the bar about an axis passing through the center of gravity. That is I. Thank you.